Brother Collector Shuki here with a review of the Shinkalion Ultra Evolution Electric Cargo and Weapon Container <laughs> Set. Quite a mouthful of a name, but uh, this is kind of a two-pack uh, little deal featuring a new weapon for the Shinkalion, as well as this little thingy right here, which is the Ultra Evolution Electric Cargo. And uh, it's basically a kind of freight car sort of thing, I don't know proper train terms, uh, that is as a motor inside of it. And so you can use it to push and pull the various pieces of your Shinkalian along a bar rail track. So that's actually super cool. Uh, I, I like that a lot. And uh, I don't know if it shows it on the package. Uh, it does. You can uh, put the pieces of the middle section, uh, this section right here, uh, on the actual, uh, like, electric cargo part, and it will conceal the motor inside the middle part of the Shinkalian. So if you don't want the big, bright red uh, part of the train on the actual Shinkalian, like breaking it up like it is up here, you can mask it in the middle and push it along that way. So that's actually super cool. I like the way that it looks. I like the ingenuity behind it. I think that's really, really neat. And to top it off, it does come with a little weapon container that turns into a, like, spear sort of uh, weapon, uh, which is also very cool. So this is a pretty cool set. Unfortunately, it does cost about 2,500 yen or so, give or take, depending on when we picked it up, released March 2018. So it is a little bit on the pricier side, but considering the motor in this and all that, um, I think it's moderately justified, at least. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. And here they are. There's no Shinka card included in the set, so for you Shinka collectors, this is one that you could pass up. Uh, however, if you do collect the play rails, plot rails, whatever, uh, then by all means, this is a really cool thing to own. Uh -huh. I think not only does it look kind of cool, I like it how it has the uh, Shinkansen Ultra Evolution Institute logo on the side of it. Uh, I think that's really cool. Um, but it, it's got a motor, and it makes the Shinkalian run along the track, which I will demonstrate uh, closer to the end of the video. Uh, and it, it works very well. It does. It works very, very well. So I think it looks kind of cool. I dig it. Um, a part of me kind of wishes, since this looks like an actual train front, that this was removable. Um, but it doesn't seem to be or anything like that. Um, unlocking it real quick. Yeah, it does not seem to be removable at all so it would have been kind of neat to have it removable and this could have been the lead car uh, or something like that but that is what it is not really a huge deal but it does look cool I, I like it quite a bit and like i said there is a lock right under here uh and then this just slides off and then you can put the middle portions on these two uh peg systems right here and it'll just close over everything and the switch is right up here And that makes it go. Unfortunately, there is no way to make it go reverse. It is only a one-way uh, motor. So that's a tiny bit of a bummer, but not a huge deal to me. I only have enough track for really for it to go one way anyway. So uh, it's perfectly okay to me. But there you go. So there is uh, that. We will demonstrate all the functions of this uh, later on with the rail from the base unit that we took a look at. But here is the little cargo uh, weapon unit weapon container, uh, according to the package. Um, but really cool, it doesn't fit this whole little platform, which is okay, because a lot of, uh, like, units on trains don't always fit the whole little train car. They just kind of sit here. So, perfectly realistic, in my humble opinion. Uh, this does come right off, just like so. These pieces you do have to peg on, and they will act as the clips. Um, let's see if I can get it off. So these, this is basically just the same middle portion that is in all of these. Uh, so if you split this middle portion open, it is the same exact inside that we are well used to uh, by now. So nothing new there, but this doesn't have the kind of movable pieces. So they had to engineer these little clip parts that just kind of sit in there. And they clip into these open areas right here. Just like so. It's nice and secure. Uh, no no real, real reason to worry about it or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside. Transformation in the weapon mode is very, very simple. All you do is swing this forward. It does lock right up here, but that's not right. So don't 
don't lock it, don't push it all the way. Uh, this will swing forward, just like so, to give it a little bit more decor, I suppose. And then this back piece will slide up. And so there you have the actual spear mode. Uh, nothing else to it. This peg will go right into the arm port, right there, of any of the Shinkalian. They're all molded the same, so uh, no need to worry about that at all. And uh, there you go. It's a little bit difficult to get it to like line up properly since you have to have the elbow on a specific bend. And it is very bulky, uh, to say the least. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind as well. It does limit the elbow articulation of the Shinkalion quite a bit. Like it, It's stuck in this near 90 degree position uh, just because of how big it is. But it does free up the joint right here and the joint at least on my e5 is more than strong enough to hold it up in the air triumphantly uh, so there is that also i forgot this step but it does launch sort of it's got like a little spring forward feature uh so you can do that as well but really cool i i, I dig the fact that not only did you get the cool motor piece, which is the kind of like the real selling point of the toy, in my opinion, and you do get a little bonus weapon uh, for the Shinkalion, and I think that's a nice little uh, addition as well. And I hope that we get more of these. Um, I don't particularly need more motor pieces. Um, I will probably take another one if you make it look as cool as this one does. But uh, I would love some additional little weapon sets like these, just more little weapon containers. I, I would totally be down for that. Uh, make some blasters and some drills and recolor this, maybe? I don't care. Uh, there's lots of things you can do. Make a big shield. Uh, I, I would be down uh, for that. 110%. Let's equip our Shinkalion to the max. But I uh, just pop that back together and we are good to go. So now that we've taken a look at the weapon container, let's go ahead and take a look at the main portion, portion of uh, this uh, set with the electric cargo, as it says. So let's move over to the Ultra Evolution Institute and take a look at this. All right, so here's just a quick little demonstration of the motor functions of this, since it's kind of like the main point of this entire set. Uh, so here's the little unit, here's the weapon container, we'll just do this for now, then I'll pop the motor inside the actual Shinkalion, but... It goes pretty fast. Like, I dig it. <laughs> Whoa, calm down, I turned you off. Uh, it does go pretty fast, and it still rolls uh, pretty well. It, there's uh, obviously a little bit of... Uh, kind of knock back with it just because of the motor, but it, it functions really well. Um, like I said, and it goes really fast too, so that's kind of cool. So, uh, to switch it to a actual, like, Shinkalion piece, obviously you're going to want to disconnect them, and then there is a little lock. Flip that open, and then this will open up this piece right here, and then, obviously, the only one that you can use is the middle part. So you just take this open and unplug the sides. And then you will take the sides and plug them into the little ports right here on the side of the motor unit. Which doesn't work because I screwed it up. You're going to have to push it in like that. Because you need the switch, and I just realized that was probably off camera, so you just kind of wiggle it in just like that and plug it in, and then plug in that side and lock everything together. And so that's why there's always this little gap right here. Uh, I was always kind of confused about that, and now I know why. Uh, so now you can take your other pieces, and this works for all of the currently released Shinkalion, and I believe all of the Feature releases of the Shinkalion. And just kind of line it up and then flip the switch. And there you go. So now you just have the E5 running off of the motor unit. That's really, really cool. And just to show kind of how strong this motor is. 
Here is a five car unit. Um, you could go further, but then it would just kind of like be a cat chasing its tail or something. Uh, here we go. Works perfectly fine. So even having five units on this thing, it pushes it perfectly fine, no problem at all. This thing is quite strong, quite sturdy, uh, and I actually, I, I like it a lot. And it, it's kind of a shame that this is all I have in terms of track is like this silly circle. Granted, I have the pieces of the base still too, but uh, just this circle, because I, I can just imagine a full like train set with the plow rails and just having this go and just watching or getting multiples of these even and just having the Shinkalian all run along uh, the tracks like that would just be really cool. Unfortunately, I don't have the space for that or the money for that or anything like that. But uh, as someone who grew up around train sets, this is really cool and it definitely brings me back and I love this a ton. This is uh, really, really cool. So that about does it for this review. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye. I'd like to thank Joey, Mr. Mike, Josh, VZ17, and all my fans who support me on Patreon.